Hello guys and welcome to a new video, my name is Bass Gaming and today I'm going to show you how to add your own sounds to your uh, track and how to make your own sound bank with your own sounds which you can then use however you like. It's fairly easy, fairly straightforward and the first thing you need is FMOD Studio version 1.08.12. That is very important that you get exactly that version and once you have it and launch it up it looks like this. Untitled project. And the first thing you want to do is create a bank. Now the bank, the sound bank you're creating should have the name of your track. So in case someone does steal your sound bank or let's say borrows it, for lack of a better word, you will still get the credit because they won't be able to change the name. If they do change the name, the file doesn't work anymore. So in my case, Halifax underscore GP, which is my track name. And the next thing you want to do is add some assets, some sound files. So we go to import audio files. And here we have some files I've already uh, prepared. For example, some birds. We add the birds. Beautiful. And that's basically it. So we now have the birds.wav um, wave in here. We have our sound bank. And now we have to create a new event. The event will be... Um, what we reference when calling the sound. So in this case it will be words 1. We have to assign this to a sound bank. The sound bank is Halifax underscore GP or whatever you've called it. There it is. And now we have to add the sound to the event. So we click on words 1 we've just created. We go over to the assets folder. We go and uh, we drag the birds.wave onto this thing. And now we have our birds inside the sound. Uh, inside the event. We press play and there it is. Beautiful! Gorgeous! So let's import another sound just to have a few files in here just so we can see what's actually happening. Oh yeah, birds.wave is already in there obviously. And now we have all of our sounds and you obviously want to make sure not to import any sounds which are, you are not going to use in the end because it just inflates the file uh, the file size of your track and you want to keep your track as small as possible for updates so for that what do we have we have an announcer so let's just make a new event for an, an announcer one and we have some spongebob music spongebob funk and we have some cheering and you have to assign all of these to the sound bank we've created, so Halifax GP in my case. Then we go into the announcer one, we drag the announcer in here. We go into the Spongebob funk, we take some Spongebob music, put it in here. And we have the cheering sound and we put the crowd sound in here. And now we have some sounds which we all can all play. Beautiful! All right. The next step is to do some edits, because FMOD is, it's not just like a folder of sounds, there are many properties to the sound, you can do a lot of things in here. All of the engine sounds are also made in here with automation, it's really complicated, but you can do some very simple things. So the first thing is, for example, if we go into the birds, birds should be heard over quite some distance. Now you have a minimum and a maximum distance. The minimum distance is the distance at which you have to be so that you can hear um, the position where it's from. So for example, if we put it to like 7 and if you're asking um, is this kilometers or miles or I have no clue. It, it's none of those. It's, it's just, I don't know, it's just numbers. Uh, from my experience 200 is not 200 meters and 1k is way more than a kilometer. So I have no clue what it is. But you just have to experiment. And the minimum size, if we put it, for example, at like 7 and we press play, then you can hear that as long as we are uh, in this radius, we can't tell exactly where it's coming from. So like it's always uh, like we are right in the middle of the sound. Then obviously if we get go to the side, then we can clearly tell where the sound is coming from. So for birds, it does make sense to have a larger soundscape so that you can move around more without being able to lo locate exactly where the sound is coming from. Because the sound at the end of the day is just coming from one single point and you obviously don't want to be able to hear this wide audioscape from one single point because that's not realistic. So you want to 
pull the, this up a little bit so you have a little bit more room to work with. And for example, for like announcers, announcers on my track at least are coming from speakers, which is just one single point. So here you can pull this a bit more down, like 0.8. And this is the maximum distance, like how far away can you hear the sound, when does it despawn, and yeah, that's obviously depending on your track, on the sound, on whatever you are doing. Another thing which has been bothering me in the beginning, uh, which I haven't been able to figure out for a long time, is how to get to this menu. Because if you click on your sound file, the options don't appear. So you just click somewhere else and these options appear. I know it sounds stupid, but I haven't been able to figure this out for a few days when I started out with this. So it might help one person at least. Don't feel stupid, I've done the same mistake of not finding this. And you have some more settings which you can play around with, just look, like for example, how does the distance, uh, over distance, how does the volume change? Then you can change the curve, which is kind of neat. Uh, you can change the volume, but you can change that afterwards in the, in the, in the config anyways, so forget this. You can add some effects and stuff. So yeah, just play around with it until you are satisfied with your sound bank. Once you have your sound bank, what you want to do is go to File and Build and you want to export your GUIDs. As I've already done that with my original sound file, let's look into that folder. Which is here. And once you've built it, you get two files. One is your bank. So as I've called my bank Halifax GP, the thing I get in the end is Halifax GP dot bank. And the other thing I get is my GUIDs dot txt. Then you go into your track folder. This is mine. You go into extension and the you create an SFX folder. Inside this folder, you have to insert your Halif uh, your sound bank and your guids.txt. Now the next thing you want to do is apply those sounds in game. So let me boot up the game. And while the game is launching, what you also want to make sure is to launch your xconfig.ini. If you don't know how to create it, search it up online. That's all your CSP settings are inside. Let's look at it. This is my xconfig and personal. As, so you can just throw everything in here. Personally, I have split it apart in several files. So what I have is a soundstuff.ini, you can call it whatever, and I've just included it. So include, and then here's my soundstuff.ini. Um, so I have it separated, but it doesn't matter. Just so you know why am I in another file, it's because I have separated these. But you can just throw all of that into the xconfig.ini. And this is where we define where the sound is going to be playing. So what we want to do is press F7 to go into the free cam. If, you, if this is not working for you, you will have to enable this free cam through the content manager. And what you also want to enable is the object inspector because that is what is giving us the coordinates. So let's go a little bit away from all of the sound. I don't have any sounds here far away from the track. And when I hold Alt, as you can see, hold Alt and click to inspect an object, click here, and you can see exactly where you're clicking depending on the coordinates. So as you can see, I can click around. I'll click right here. This is where I want to create a sound and I'm going to copy my coordinates. So let's create a new sound here. These are our coordinates which we've copied. And then you have to create a new event, which is a sound event. So we have an event. Then we have to look at the sound which we want to play. So for that, let's go into our SFX folder or GUIDs. And these are all of the sounds we have created. So for example, we have created the bird sound. So the bird sound is our sound bank name, in my case, Halifax GP, and then slash the sound. So the sound bank name slash, as you can see, these are the naming conventions slash the sound. And so we want to use the birds. So I'm going to copy the birds. 
we're going to go back into our vent and insert the sound. Reverb. We want some reverb. If we have reverb on our track, which I do have, it uh, also interacts with the reverb. That makes sense. The position is our coordinates. We've just copied. The direction is in which direction it's playing. X, Y, Z coordinates. And this means basically it's just blasting straight upwards. The volume is the overall volume. It also interacts with the uh, distance as if it's well, too quiet to hear from a distance, you won't hear it. So yeah, the volume also plays into the distance. The camera interior multiplier is the multiplier in the inside cam, like the F1 cam inside the cockpit of the car. The exterior cam is the exterior car cam, so cams like if you press F1 and you go to the chasing cam, or F5 for the orbit cam. So you can make it lo louder or more quiet depending on the camera. And the camera track multiplier is all of the track um, cams, including the free cam. And now as soon as we press save, we are going to be able to hear the sound coming from below us. And there you go. Let me turn off the rain. So the rain sound stops. And as you can hear, we have birds. We can even make it louder. This. And there you go. As you can hear, depending on my position, the sound is coming from right this spot. This is where the sound is coming from. And yeah, that, now it's basically just a matter of just flying through the map, pressing around. Like, for example, I have a lot of trees. I just went through the trees, copied the, uh, the coordinates, which you can do, like, pressing between two coordinates, copies all of them, and you can just add them around, make a lot of them, be happy, and that's it. That's how you add your own sounds. Also be sure to keep in mind, copyright is a thing, don't hold me responsible for whatever you do, and um, as always, it's better to create your own sound bank than steal uh, stealing someone else's sound bank, because as you have seen, it's so simple to create one, it's so simple. So just create your own. Don't don't be lazy and steal someone else's. All right, that's it. I hope to see many more maps with audios and custom sound banks now. Enjoy the track building. Have a nice day. Don't forget to download my track Halifax GP, which is down below in the description. That's the best way to support me. And check out the race track building Discord, also linked down below, if you have more questions or want to share knowledge. Have a great day. Goodbye.